Ambrose, what is your take about this share acquisition saga and how is it impacting the capital market? Yeah, I will see it uh, in two ways from my side. Yes, I can see that the regulators of the financial market are sitting, we are not have from them, especially the central bank and SEC. And also, another way, I will not agree that uh, a party will advise another party not to accept investment made by another party. If they have issue, I think you know, they've been told before now, and also the regulators are there to take their position, not Echo Bank telling a uh, bank to not accept investment made by another party in their company. Echo Bank is not the owner of FBN holding of my own. I'm not, I'm not a lawyer, but I'm just telling you for what's happening. Yes, if they have you know issue before now, they're owing their own this is result their own issue out. This is an investment made in what in a quoted company. And all these companies involved are quoted company. That's right. We need to see the SEC taking the impression and, and, and say this is what will should happen. But also the central bank also looking at Echo Bank and also and the uh, FBM, these are also financial institutions. For me, I think this plan has got this uh, confusion of Saka I call it. It's going to have confidence in the market. I think it's better they come out and tell the public what is happening and where to go. Because investment made in first bank by the first holding company by you know the one honeywell group or or telecom body is investment. Yes, if they have you know issue of sort definiteness between two of them, Echo Bank, and I tell you no economy, no individual, no company has wrong with that debt. No, it is always an element of time for a debt and also plan to pay it. Let them say to it that not just hitting up the world, the investment space. Because this, if you are not taking say, kind of you know, confidence or kind of a uh, you know, clash between investors in the market, because I tell you, as they're doing this, people are sitting on the on the on the, on the world to see what is the investors doing. I, I think this is the time for investors to speak up to address issues so that it will die up and give market a, a, a good direction well, because it's good anywhere. Transparency is very, very important. And also the regulators should always know how to balance issue so that more confidence will be created in the market and attract more new investors into the market. Because the way it's going, people can also borrow to invest. You know, for you to borrow is not an issue. It's not it's not, it's not a, a, a crime. For me, if they are borrowed from EcoBank and they, they are paying or they're not paying, now they made investment, EcoBank for me will not come and tell the bank they will tell the payment. I cannot invest in EcoBank, they're investing in another company entire and, and Entirely for me, I think it's time for our regulators to come out and stand this what is happening. And that time, for me, that's the reason I want to see you know this uh, issue because I think they are seeing on it. I hear different uh, um, factions from here. Yeah, I'm not telling you for my own mind that uh, our regulator should stand on a spot and let us know where we are going from here, Charles. How beautiful is First Bank that a lot of investors and shareholders are fighting to gain the largest share in that bank. I believe you will agree with me that nobody actually saw O2 Decor coming. Okay, after a two years, um, after being off the, 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 the financial sector for two years, after the, 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 the formal, the suspended now, Governor of the Central Bank actually sacked him and some other uh, and collapsed the board of directors that, that were working with him or overseeing the affairs of First Bank of Nigeria. Now, I want to get your view. What would you say has prompted Otudeko to come back into um, First Bank Odin's? Yes, thank you very much. Well, we will say it's, it's controversy, it's controversial in that. Um, FBN holding and of course First Bank. Well, for me, I will look at it in terms of corporate governance. Mm. If a strategic investor like about today, you know, who was one time a majority shareholder in First Bank, and as a result of certain issues, maybe insider credit, and the then CBN governance suspended, decided that yes, it's not a fit and proper person. And they were suspended, the board and every other person. You know that after two years, he is now back. And, well, I would not say he personally acquired those um, the 4 point something billion shares. It was acquired by a subsidiary of Honeywell Flower, which is Babican Capital also. If he has interest in the Honeywell and Babican Capital, first of all, the issue was, it was a cross deal. That is, there was a willing buyer and a willing seller. seller. And the price was done above, above market price. So, the transactions was approved by the NGS. And if there are issues involved, okay, 
now is now left for the parties. But in this transaction now, for me, Echo Bank is not even a party. Of course, I'm not a lawyer. It's not privy to that transaction. It is between the Babican Capital, subsidiary of Honeywell, and of course, those shareholders who sold to Babican Capital. If there were issues, then Echo Bank can take their matter. I don't know, it's a counter market affair or issue, can go to the IST. Thank God, my doyen there used to be a member of the IST. He can shed more light on that. Then, whether First Bank is good or not, and why is Sotiriko coming back? He is an investor. He has the right to invest in any company that is quoted on the stock exchange. As long as it is a legitimate transaction, it is legal, it is not an issue of money laundering or money that has been acquired illegally somewhere and is trying to launder it using the market. As long as all those things are not there, then I think, like Abus have said, let the regulators come out. And I'm sure, because for me, I mean, even as an operator, a cross deal, willing buyer, willing seller, and the transaction went. Mm. So, <laughs> what is the issue there? So, for me, there is no issue looking at it from the point of view as an operator. In what way do you think the SEC, that is the Nigerian and, C and Exchange Commission, um, the bankers community and the CBN, in what way do you think they can wade into this um, into the situation and bring about a lasting solution that will not affect the banking sector and also have a negative impact on the capital market? Well, I had so many statements on the media, but I just see them as a mere noise making because the truth of the matter you walk by the law. Hmm. Yes, sir. there is not any law in this country would say that you cannot acquire whatever quantity you want from the secondary market. Mm. If it were the primary market where CBN have the power to verify the source of the fund to be sure that there is no money laundry on it. But this is secondary market up here. Secondary market has no restriction. So anybody talking on this is just here making noise. Secondly, I see this transaction not even mere crossing. It's just a nominal transfer. And this started when Kelly or Tudola declare 5% in Transco. Suddenly, Tony used all the proxy that he's using to consolidate his holding. And from nowhere, he holds 25%. Which before, he was hiding them in other names. And this is again the rule of the capital market because you must be transparent up and doing and give all the information to the market. And that's what I see in the first part. We have been in the market. Nowhere, no matter how much you are, you cannot get this quantity because you have money. The quantity will not even be available. So what I see is it's just a mere, a mere nominal transfer, consolidating their quantity because somebody come out and say, I have someone for sale. Exactly. And if I have someone for sale, I'm number one. Yeah. So I say, hey, if you are number one, let me consolidate <laughs> my holding exactly. better than you. So this is what we are seeing. So if there is anybody, an uh, Echo Bank has no business telling First Bank, because First Bank have no issue on this. Once you are quoted, you, uh, the, the shareholder are free to do what they want to do in the market. We have seen where Union Bank transact over 93% to a co investor. Nobody has said no. So if somebody can acquire 93% and nobody say no, what more about 52%? So 50% is not an issue. CDR has no business on this. The only person that has a stake is SEC. Mm. Because they are the active regulator of the capital market. What I expected them to do, they have seen it in the transcript they keep quiet. Now it is coming here. So they will have to wake up to make it very clear. Anybody that choose to have a pros, and that pros is denying the market to know the true holder of this will pay a fine so that people will now rush to consolidate without getting the hammer of the same. 